Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back, we are back. I've been out of town, uh, I was gone for the Zoto Ramirez fight in LA, we're back. Um, one show a day, and then we have two shows a day um, for the rest of the week, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, I have some plans at the end of the week, uh, but we're back. Quick hits, 3D Boxing Vlogs, quick hits, twice a day, every day. Uh, we are back. We got a great show for you today. But before we get into it, please subscribe to our other channel. Uh, we, we upload a bunch of interviews and content to both channels, so please check that out. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene um, is completely dedicated to Texas Boxing, and uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery to help us get that monetized and up and running as quickly as possible. All right, let's get into today's show. Ryan Garcia was supposed to be fighting. Um, at the Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles um, on Friday. That was originally his show to fight Javier Fortuna. Um, unfortunately, he backed out. And we're going to get into some, some stuff here. I'm not trying to sound controversial. I'm not hitting on Ryan Garcia. I think he's a good kid. I think he's got a bright future. I think he's an excellent fighter. Um, but he was supposed to fight Fortuna. He backed out of that fight because he said he was battling mental illness. Okay, fine. It's fine. He was on the beach shortly thereafter. Then now he says he wants to fight uh, Devin Haney or Tank Davis next, and he's ready to return. All right, so he's ready to return. Okay, here's... I'm not, I'm not saying he ducked the fight with Fortuna. That is a huge arena they have, a huge stadium they have there. Um, it was supposed to be completely sold out for the Garcia fight, right? It's supposed to sell the place out. Beautiful venue, by the way. Um, instead, they only sold a fra tiny fraction of the tickets. They cut off most of the stadium. I, I didn't see what the attendance numbers was not really important. Um, and I'm not faulting Ryan Garcia if he's having mental health issues. I'm not faulting him at all. He's been through a lot. He was in the limelight as a kid. You know, he was 17 years old. We were all watching him, right? Um, at 17, 18, he was bursting onto the scene, prospect of the year. The next Oscar de la Hoya, Golden Boy's Golden Boy, all this extra stuff. It's fine. Um, you know, he's provided for his family. He's taking care of his family financially. All this stuff. Lots for a kid to handle. Here's what I'm getting to. He pulled himself out saying he wasn't mentally able to fight. I'm going to assume that's true. And I'm not knocking him for that. I've been there too. Then he needs to be re-cleared. He needs to go be re-examined by the California State Athletic Commission or any commission he wants to fight in. But he said he wasn't fit to fight. Am I wrong? So shouldn't he have to be re-examined? Shouldn't he have to be relicensed? He pulled out of this fight in this huge venue because he said he wasn't fit to fight. I'm not blaming the kid. I'm not faulting the kid. But it is what it is. How can California or any state in the union Put him out there to fight without examining him after he said he wasn't fit to fight. Uh, it's, it's a fair question, is it not? He pulled himself out. He said he's in no place to fight. You're putting your life on the line. You are risking your life. You said you weren't fit to do that. I understand. I'm not faulting you for that. But California or whatever state you want to fight in Nevada, Texas, New York, whatever. 
Don't they have to do their due diligence and see if you are ready to fight? How can you put someone out there in the ring who says they're not – you want to be the next Olive McCoy? You want to have a breakdown in the ring? I'm not saying he's going to do that, but he said he couldn't fight. He said he wasn't in the, in, in the position mentally to fight it. He was having mental health issues. Do you want to put him in the ring and risk his life in the most dangerous of sports against a, a fighter like Devin Haney, Tank Davis, even Fortuna, Jojo Diaz, a, a professional fist fighter – when this guy's not fit to fight. It doesn't seem reasonable, does it? He should be go through the physicals. If he can pass the physical, pass the mental, you know, pass the psychological test, then California or wherever, wherever he goes should recertify him to fight. But until he does that, how do you in good conscience let him fight? Because he's a drug because he makes money? That's not the commissioner's job. The commissioner's job is to make sure he's able to fight. And he said... A month ago, he wasn't. So all of a sudden, because Davis puts in a good performance, because uh, Haney looks beatable, now he's ready to fight again. I mean, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I'm taking him at his word that this wasn't a duck, that this wasn't a business move, that he was literally – he. It, was what he says he was, that he was not fit to fight mentally. I'm taking him at his word, that he wasn't looking to get out of this fight for any reason. So it ended up being a really good fight, by the way. But he, he didn't take this fight because he wasn't able to fight. Was he not able to fight because he wasn't mentally stable? He wasn't meant, his mental health wasn't sufficient for him to fight? I don't know. But that's what he said. So I... Uh, I'm not going to argue with him. So if that's true, you run through the battery of tests. You have to get relicensed. You have to get a physical. But through the psychological portions, we have to make sure that you are fit to fight because just a month ago you said you weren't. Now, I'm not picking on Ryan Garcia. But he, they, 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 they planned this entire event for him, got this huge, uh, this huge venue. And then he he said he couldn't fight. You can't in good conscience put out a guy there who's not mentally healthy. Not not in this sport, right? It's not baseball where Zach Greinke throws a fit or Rick and Kill can't find the strike zone. He could get seriously hurt. Let me know what you think. You leave your thoughts, comments below. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think he should be able to fight because he says he's able to now? Should California or whatever state he wants to fight look at him again, examine him, make sure he is fit to fight? You guys think I'm way out of line? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, it is. Oh, uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Three boxing kids comes at you twice a day, every day. Um, two minutes, uh, eight, eight, seven minutes a day just to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to charity. Or just for all proceeds go to uh, research autism. Research and recovery. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's late. Um, please like and subscribe to that channel as well. Um, it is Ju July 12th, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Love to make that change. Let's get uh, the Iron Boy back in. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.